Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a lotus fold book out of your prints. You need some tissue that I've printed. You need some of these that are printed both sides. Okay, this is one I've printed both sides. You need about five. Uh, you need glue, knife, ruler, print stick instead of glue, string, clips, two small boards, a brush for the glue, and a spoon or a knife for creasing. Okay, I move all that out of the way. Doesn't matter which way you go. So you need to cut these out. You can just measure them. I tend to make myself a template because it's quicker uh, and I'm losing all the edges. Okay. So I've got that, let's think about it. We need to fold it, okay? And each one needs folding. So we need to go in that way. I'm gonna use my knife just to sharpen that. There's one fold, open. Fold number two, each one's fold three times. And you do get in a rhythm. Right, at this stage, you need to flip it over and go diagonally. And that will fold in on itself. Okay, a little bit. Oh, I might get that trimmed off. Don't worry about it. I tend to do about seven, but I might only stick five. So you've got a couple left over if you're not happy with them. Especially if you're keeping to a colour, it's always worth having more. So that's done that. I flip it over. And then I go this way. It's getting those corners. That's a better one. Okay. That's better. I like that one. Okay. So in true in true fashion, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Now I use matte medium so you don't get any shine. I'm just going to squeeze some out on the plate. So pick one up and glue it. Now, that's what I call an open corner. And it needs to go against a fold corner. Okay, so that goes to there. Offer it up, drop it down, give it a squeeze. Okay, now we're going to do another one. So I've got a closed corner to an open corner. Uh, 
open corner, close corner. Close corner, open corner. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then clip them together. Okay. Then we're going to get these. I've coated them quite well and a piece of card. You probably don't want the black side, use a white side down. Otherwise the black slightly see-through. Not sure. I'm going to go for white. A bit more blue. Drop it down. Then get your knife, cut across the corner. The guy. I like using the tissue because it's really forgiving to fold over the edges. You could just use, you could just use this. That would be fine. Okay, it's just a personal preference because I'm not great at corners. Oh, <laughs> no, did that wrong. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to do the white side. Too busy chatting. So um, the trick with the corners is that you need to have however deep, however high your card is, you 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 cut to that point. So that's the distance. So if this card is two millimeters high, I cut it. I cut a uh, cut off the corner two millimeters away from the corner. Then you don't kind of run into trouble with the card showing through. Doesn't really matter what angles, as long as it's that corner. There we are. Hmm. Paint coming off that. Not quite sure why. My book binding friends will be horrified how slapdash I am. Um, but hey. Plenty of glue. Okay. okay. Now on one piece, which will make the back, you want a length of string. Then 
plenty of glue on there. Drop that down. It may help to give it a bit of help with a bit of tape just to add to the bandage. Okay. Back to these. I should have dried off a little bit. Just ease them gently without undoing them. There we go. There we are, just to make sure nothing sticking to anything else. Quite nice to have an odd number. Okay. Like that. Fold it back in on itself. Back with the glue. And then offer that up so that it's central. down so it meets and everything's happy and then tie it Et voilà.